Jessica, it is great to see you. We're at the Great Hall here in Toronto, and we're you just finished up uh, Soundcheck. I did. I finished up Soundcheck. This is really crazy. It's like one of my first headlining shows ever in Toronto, and we're at one of my favorite venues in the city. Well, I was going to say, how does it feel being able to perform at one of the most iconic venues that we have here in Toronto? I mean, it's it's a blessing, really. I mean, it's really exciting when, when you get to play venues that you've seen many, many shows at, but have never gotten to actually play a full, proper show before. So, um, And I love the Longboat Hall. I love how kind of open and, and beautiful, and the acoustics are amazing in here. So I'm going to, I think we're going to sound good. Well, I got to <laughs> say, thank you for letting me sit in and, and listen to what's going You're on. Welcome. Plus the fact, uh, you got a band behind you this time. I have a band. I brought my boys. Yeah, I brought my boys with me. I love them with all my heart, and I very rarely get to play with them because I'm always touring solo. So it's nice to be able to to have them out for this show and for the for the London show. I gotta say, listening to the soundtrack, and I wish I could make it to the show tonight, but uh, timing is all off. But and I love this venue. Your voice is bigger than this venue. What is going on vocally? Because <laughs> honestly. From the first time I've heard you, you know, going through with slight music and everything else, you've just gotten bigger and better. And I'm just thinking to myself, you need a stadium for that voice. Oh, thanks, man. I, I'm, I mean, one day, I don't know how they're going to take my wonderful, emotional, sad songs in a stadium like that. But I think some people get away with it. No, I, I think uh, I'm, I'm really proud of where I am at vocally right now. I think it's, it's been a really long journey. And I, I think a lot of it comes from, like, it's almost guttural. It comes from, like your heart and from the emotional part of it. And I think that's what makes me sing the way I do. Not just that though, a lot of changes in your life. First, I gotta ask you, uh, last time I saw you was at the CCMAs. Yeah. Everybody, it was very cool. A lot of people think that that was like your introduction really to the world. What was that like for you, the experience before everything? Yeah, yeah. it was It was really cool, man. It was like really, it, it was it was over so fast like you don't realize how quick live tv goes it's and it's so terrifying because it is live tv so you're like oh god this is like one minute you know you're they're like three minutes go then you're done and you don't want to screw up the words i luckily i didn't screw up the words to the yeah. song on on live tv um no but it, it it really opened up a lot of like really cool possibilities for me and it makes me really excited about the future and the future of music so when you're walking down the uh, red carpet and you're seeing the legends that are around you, I mean, what was that like for you? It's really cool. I mean, some of them are my friends, luckily. I've, I've been really happy to like and very, very lucky to sort of, you know, befriend some of these people. But it was it's it. Everyone's just so pro. I think everyone just kind of knows what they're doing. So it's a process and you go through it and you get to see the fans. The fans are the funnest part. It's really cool that they get to like stand there. And it sucks that it was raining this year because I love it when the red carpet's outside, but this year it had to be inside because it was so gross out. It happens, but yeah. no, I mean, what a party, what, what a great event. But the thing I remember saying to you, and I said it to you twice on the red carpet, and I said it to you also when you were in the back talking to the, the press, press room. Press yeah. room. I said that there seems to be some changes going on with you. Yeah. I could tell you're more grounded, you're more focused. There's that inner strength that is exploding all over the place. Yeah. Um, what has been going on in the last couple of years leading up to this album to really, like I said, those changes I, I talked about? Yeah, I think, I think I'm just in a good place now. I just feel like I'm comfortable and I'm sort of in a good place emotionally and um, I'm happy, you know, like I'm very happy and I've, you know, found the love of my life earlier oh, this year. And congratulations. So, thank you. I know it's so cool. He's coming tonight. I'm so excited. But he uh, he's really helped a lot of me sort of coming out of my shell a bit and, and find, figuring out who I really am. And I think that's it's really great when you have I have a really good support system. I'm just and I think they they're a big part of why, you know, things have gone in a really positive direction for me. So. Did this all come around when you were recording the new album? And I want to get into no. that, or no, no, we met we met in January, so it's just been oh, almost yeah. a year. But that being said, um, you know, I think I, I think we like find a way to smarten up every once in a while. And I think last year I kind of realized that I had to smart smarten up, <laughs> mm -hmm. and and that I didn't want I didn't want to be unhappy anymore. You know, like I just didn't want to be miserable anymore. So there's almost this switch that goes off where you're like, you know what? I'm gonna let go of all the crappy things in my life and see what comes to me. And great things started happening. So definitely did. And you know those those songs. Um, a lot of people can relate to them. 
you know, and that's the thing that I love. Like they said, listening to this, I'm going, yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. It must be a thrill, not only knowing that the audience is enjoying the performance, mm -hmm. but they're getting the music too. Yeah, man, that's like, that's so important to me. It always has been like in my writing process, I feel like if there isn't some sort of generalization, like I wanna be able to like help someone. That's just like really honestly, the only reason why I write music is to help me and to help others. Um, which is why it's also personal and so emotional because I know I'm not alone in the things that I feel and we as human beings share very of many of the same emotions and we share the same situations that happen to us on a daily basis and I think putting that into words through music form is the best kind of therapy that there possibly is. What was the approach with this album? What were your thoughts? And you're saying that, you know what, <laughs> I want to be more grounded and things like yeah. that. Getting it out into the world finally. <laughs> Like, I mean, it took five years of writing to get to that point. And I think it was just a matter of like, you know what, we're just going to do it and see what happens and and uh, let it organically kind of take shape and, and let people discover it. And I think that's, the, that's just like the fun way of doing things is letting people come to you mm -hmm. instead of shoving things down other people's throats, like over advertising and that kind of stuff. But um, it's been really great. You know, I, I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud of it. It's, it's a chapter of my life that I've, that I'm still kind of in, but in a way it's closed. You know, I always look at albums as, you know, with, especially with artists as well. I think you should look at an album as a chapter in your life or an era in your life that you're kind of letting go of and you put it out and then it's for other people now. So um, until I have to play it live and then, it, <laughs> and then I get it, I get to this place where I'm like, oh God, I remember how much this sucked. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, like I'm just proud of it and I'm, I'm excited that it's doing the things that it's doing and we're not giving up on it. It's, it's the little album that could, we're, we'll, we'll promote it, we'll promote it for forever if we have to. I mean, I, I believe in it that much, you know, I believe in this record that much that I think getting it to the masses eventually is going to be a thing that we can do. The lead single. What's the lead single from this? So we, we've released many singles over the years. Um, I guess like first there was Whiskey and then we released Tear It Down and Don't Love Me and Bulletproof and now we're working on Maybe It's Me. So Maybe It's Me is, is what's at radio right now and we've had some really wonderful stations jump on board early and we're just going to keep pushing that. Just curious, uh, what's the song about? Oh, it's very, very deep. Um, it's in, in a nutshell, it's sort of just about um, you as, as people, we, we place blame a lot on other people. Um, a this? lot. Wow. We, play, we, place, we place a lot of blame on everybody else and yeah. have a really friggin' hard time looking in the mirror every once in a while. So I think that is the sort of main thing. The main sort of story of, of that is me finally being able to look in the mirror and say, I'm the problem, and so maybe I should fix it. So, and that's exactly what I did, and, and I'm glad that I did. Maybe it's the way she calls you, baby. Maybe it's the way I don't. Maybe it's the way she hangs on every word the way I want. I can feel it in the way you hold me lately. I'll never For you. I love the song also. Um, this is a mini tour kind of what you're doing right now because mm -hmm. Toronto wasn't, isn't the only stop that you have. you got still a couple of more. Yeah, so we started in Calgary, Edmonton, and Saskatoon. They were all great shows, and now we're doing the home home province, Ontario, and got tonight, and then uh, we got Burnstown tomorrow, Hamilton, and then London, finishing it off in my hometown. 2019, what's going to be happening? Mm -hmm. Oh, lots of fun stuff. I'm excited. <laughs> more touring, of course, because mm -hmm. touring, 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 that's my life. Um, we're touring and um, uh, I'm going to start writing again, I think, in the new year. I haven't written a song in a year. Great. Well, yeah, we, break. we still got the uh, CCMAs next year. We got the yeah. Juno Awards. We got the uh, Country Ontario Awards. Like, so much going on with country yeah. music. Yeah, there is, man. It's like it's, it's really exploded in the last couple of years. It's kind of crazy. And you are one of the big <laughs> reasons why. You are a purist with your voice. You're a purist with your music, your songwriting, everything else. Are you ready to be that leader? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, we'll see. Um, 
for now, I'm just really enjoying just learning from everyone else and taking in as much as I can uh, from artists that I tour with and that kind of stuff. So we'll we'll see. I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for the next chapter, and we'll see what what it brings. Social media. Where do we go to follow you so we can follow the story? Let's go to Twitter. It's uh, I'm on Twitter. I'm on Instagram. I'm on fa- I have a Facebook page, so you can all find everything under my name, Jessica Mitchell. Congratulations! So happy for you. Thank you for letting me sit in on this, and uh, looking forward to everything you're doing in 2019. Awesome. Thank you, Rudy. It's me. Oh, oh, oh.